Wait, is there no audio? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder why that intro music wasn't playing. Cause that intro music is Beast. Cody with his weird hair that's lit. You know what? I, um... I was thinking of, like, doing a run of, like, the Sega CD version or something. But I'll do this one for now. Super NES, the one that I, uh... know the most. Oh damn, I'm playing like dog shit today. I'm using a PS3 controller. Goodbye. Um, this is another banger soundtrack. All the Capcom soundtracks from this time period are just out of control. Help you will punch. Better than that, then. Oh, come on, G Orb. Wong Ho. All he is. Need to die. And I know the first thing I'm gonna get in the next spot is that big turkey, so you know. Yeah. Or the the barbecue, whatever it is that you get. Under a pile of tires. This guy thinks he uses the shit because he can block. You ain't blocking yet. Oh my god, really, dude? What? Oh my god, I can't believe I fucking died there. Yeah, I think Streets of Rage was first. Oh, I was gonna say right now. Oh my god! Really, I lost two two lives to this fucking bullshit enemy. Damn.
I've had better runs at like the arcade, which is made to suck your quarters up. Crazy nice. Meow, 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 meow. Although his name is Sid, not STD. That would be amazing if his name was fucking STD. You have Andor, who's uh, very clearly supposed to be Andre the Giant, but he's Andor the Giant. Oh god damn it. I remember they, they had this at a bowling alley by me, and everyone would just call him Andre. It's not his end of it. Now it's Hugo, but you know. Yeah, I think that infinite punching shit, you know, it doesn't work on the Super NES version. Oh, it. Never mind, it does. Just gotta time it better. Yeah, Andor's Eve. Oh my god, really? I'm losing to these fucking wieners? Fucking wiener enemies doing damage and shit. God. No! It was, uh... Yeah, that was, like, two or three years ago, I did a Mega Man stream on... on the YouTube channel. I think I wanted to... I, I don't think I deleted that one. But it wasn't even on stream, it was just after the stream. It was fucking... got pretty crazy. And then I went to the bathroom, and I just, like, I burped. And it was just a shot. It, I wasn't even expecting it at all, but I just burped and like vomit went everywhere. Um, I want to say it was like Evan Williams or some shit. Oh, oh, another death from this fucking cock, fuck, fucking nothing guy. It was like the worst run of fucking final fight in my life. But look how much damage they do. Stabbing you. Stabbing you. Do I ever drink gin? Um... I don't think I do. If I if I had, like I don't remember it. There we go. A one up. An extra. Free main. Oh my god. Yeah. 
No, don't stab me! There's a no stabbing alley. See, now I'm confusing things to happen in this with the arcade version. So I did get a little used to the arcade version from it being at arcade. got the hang of dealing with that charge. Oh my god, come on. Ah. about this bonus stage, I remember when I was a kid, I had a friend come over to play this game. It was two of my friends came over. I... And this scene happens now. When the guy comes out, he's like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So he's like at the car crying. And our other friend is like leaving at the point that that happens. And my friend guy, my friend goes, ah, he's crying. And then, then uh, my grandmother who was there thought that he was like that that we were making fun of our other friend who was leaving. And then it was like it became a whole fucking thing because they didn't believe when we said no. The guy in the game is crying. inconsistencies between the different versions of this game. Sometimes he says, oh my god. Sometimes he says, oh my car. And then there's one version of it where they, they just got rid of the subtitles so you can't tell what he's saying, even though it sounds like it's the car one. Good stabbings. Lots of arcades in my area. Um, there's some. There's like four different barcades, three different barcades, I think. You got the Brooklyn one, you got two in the city, then there's two bit retro arcade. And then there's another one that opened up somewhat recently. That's like a more of like a a bar and grill with an arcade in the back. And then they have a DDR in the back too, so it's like you can go get fucked up and then play some DDR, which seems like uh, a recipe for disaster, but they're still open. I guess it hasn't been a disaster yet. Oh, 
See, these guys are stronger, and you can tell because they have nicer clothes. Well, not nicer necessarily, they just have like differently colored clothes. They're, it's more like subtle colorings, which means, you know, it's class. Classy tank top. You're a light blue. You're great. Got the. Uh... It was never clear what those letters meant, but at the arcade. Everyone thought it meant Uncle Andor and Grandpa Andor. The other guy doesn't seem like a grandpa. It is fucking a uh, big bubble lip. They don't seem to be. They haven't been doing that little, like jump and sit on you move that they've been doing. Either. Oh my god. Oh. some gum off the floor. Oh, oh yeah! Just in time. Oh come on, you scum fucks. Really? These bum ass regular enemies? Getting chewed up by these fucking plebs. He's got fucking besties that coordinated their outfits over here. into into the hates I kind of I want that fucking the those uh the sabu pa oh here we go I'm gonna have the bomb I don't want to play as oh no we're gonna start the whole thing over oh my goodness Billy. Yeah, this guy, Jay, he's got the best fit. His nuclear hooded vest. What's also weird, Andor's uh, profile picture. It looks like he has a mustache, but if he doesn't have a mustache, then it's just like a weird, like, gaping open mouth. Oh, he was about to do his squat move. I am using my thumbs. Oh, oh, really, motherfucker? Even if his mouth, this is like mouth go up to like the middle of his face. You want to know how I got these scars? What I like about this existing concurrently with Streets of Rage, it's like, you, do you real do you both need a guy with a white shirt and blue jeans? You couldn't have changed it up just a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, it kicked me in the butt and I fell over. I keep getting touched by these bum ass enemies. I guess you did see a lot of that just around. Everybody is like, hey, I'm Bruce Springsteen. Going to the bar to fight Elgato. Yeah. See, I like the old, uh, when you play the arcade version, they carry you off with the chokes and shit. See, like, how was just overrides all my shit? See, like, how... How does a fucking chest bump override a fucking kick? What's happening here? What's happening here? The fucking all oh, is Grandpa Andor being a fucking cock fuck. Ah, oh. A waste of a fucking run. I'm just right back where I was. Never mind, not even. Not even. Oh, it gave me a one off. Whoop, whoop the fucking do. Do I own a pair of jorts? I do. Go down to my shins like uh like a dude wearing a gangsta Stewie Griffin shirt. What should I don't have? The only jorts I own, they're uh, they were I just got them because I did a uh, a Bret Hart Halloween costume one year. Come on. Yeah, everybody get over there. Oh, my name is a beauty. Oh, yeah. This coppa. I'm gonna eat your gum, cop. It's a very powerful gum. You see when you eat gum off the floor. And someone else is chewing on it. Oh, it gives you a lot of health except when he bashes you when you're in the fucking head! And takes your whole fucking life bar! Look at that! What is that? What is that shit? And I'm gonna do the whole stage over. Play Final Fight anymore. You know what I'm realizing? Hagar's voice is literally just Cody's voice, like shifted down.
Demix. I remember when you're watching Final Fight and you're seeing Hagar just walking through the streets punching people. Never forget that this is the mayor. This is the mayor of. Metro City just running through the streets and forcing justice with his bare hands. Think Bill de Blasio could do that? Fuck no. You know. I know that running son of a bitch didn't die. Oh, he just runs up and kidney punches me, okay. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, runs through the knife! Through the knife! Oh, yeah. Runs through the sword! And grapples me through the sword and pile drives me. As, as one does. That's what that's what people do. That's magic grap magic grappling. Magic. You guys tuned in to watch Final Fight, but instead you got a fucking magic show. He does kind of look like Chief Irons. Oh, I swear to God! If these sons of bitches kill me before I can get that chicken! Or whatever it is. Who, even, who walks like that? Who walks like that? It punches me out of the air! Huh, magic little hop to take half my fucking health with a bullshit jump kick like that. Or he's got that stance, like the dude that went to the gym one time and he thinks he's fucking ripped now. Oh, my God. 
Oh, shoot you, shoot your friends. Uh huh, just drops down immediately. Dead. See, and there's not gonna be any getting past that. This, this is the the Abigail stage, who's even more of a fucking beast than that guy is. It's kind of crazy that they brought back Abigail for uh, Street Fighter V, I think. That's such a random addition. I think people were butthurt about that because they didn't know who it was. Yeah. Yeah, I play more versus Capcom. For let's drop him on his head. Belly flop went on everybody. No, that's not what I wanted to do, was it? Hagar's punch is a lot more effective at stopping that. Slow down, man. You and Apocalypse was cool. Hey, Max, so was Maximum Carnage. Here we go, almost dead. Whoa. Look at that dog who can help me and, like, bite these guys. Come on. I have not heard of Ant Stream. It's not freezing, it's like, uh... Oh, no. I think I had... I said, like, because I had, like, a lot of, like, weird, um, slowdown for a second. But I think that's just how the game is. Oh, God, no! Oh, killed by a bum! Killed by a random bum. Let's finish it off with Cody. Last life. Alright, last continue. Yeah, this is Burn the Barrel. This is, this is Donkey this is a Donkey Kong side game. This is Donkey Kong City right here. This guy, let me punch you off the bench, you son of a bitch. At the very least, hopefully, I can get to that, uh, the part of the stage with that cool bass music. See, Hagar's punches take those guys the fuck out when they got that charge going. Cody's does some of the time, but not always. A lot of times they just sail underneath.
Voilà, bon, Rogi. Those Wong Wu guys, that's like basically me. If I just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna eat all the sandwiches. I was watching, uh, there's these sandwich spots in Queens. Christina's in Cherry Valley, and I was like, fuck man, I want a, like a heart attack sandwich. I haven't had one in so long. Gotta kind of not fuck around like that. I said I want to get swole by the time VidCon comes around, because I want people to be surprised by how swole I am. The part of that is, you know, you get swole, but then you get fat too, so... Gotta be careful. Or I'm, probably, I'm gonna have to sleep. I haven't slept yet from the day before, but I got up mad late. But... I was gonna try to sleep early, then wake up and finish editing. But I've been saying, like, I wanna kinda get into a schedule of streaming, of at least attempting to stream every day. But you see, like, I kinda, like, the plan isn't as hatched. The idea was I would have kind of a schedule where I wake up, do, like, my stretches and shit, stream, lift, then work on YouTube, but instead I just didn't sleep and now I'm streaming. Then I'm gonna take a nap and then work on YouTube. So in my attempt to like, go adhere to a more uh, professional, productive schedule, I've actually fucked my sleep schedule up worse. And it's, it's the first day, it's literally the first day, well, kind of the second day, because I kind of incidentally fell into it yesterday. I don't have a day job. I, um... Like, sometimes I work as an extra on TV shows. It used to be- that used to be my main thing, but now I just do it if it's something I really want to work on. Right. I'm about to get diddled here. Yeah. This stage is cool. It's... It's cool because, like, you kind of, uh... There's, like, three different song transitions. Like, it's not- you don't see that a lot from games of this era on the same stage. Or at least, like, you know, on the same loaded area. Have I met any actors? There was this one movie I did. It's a Lifetime movie. But it wasn't originally a Lifetime movie. It got picked up by Lifetime. After festivals, and uh, it was basically Hayden. It, it's this movie called Custody, and Hayden Panettiere like wakes up in bed next to me. So I guess that counts as meeting an actor. That was actually a fun scene to shoot. Well, obviously it was a fun scene to shoot, but I mean, you know, it was because uh, it's like I'm just like an extra, I'm technically still an extra, even though I'm in bed with Hayden Panettiere. So. I'm, like, I'm trying to, like, you know, play it safe, and the director, like, wants me to play it more aggressive than I am. And then, at, while, like, we're trying to, like, get that figured out, she's like, Hey, you know, don't worry. It's not like my husband is, like, the heavyweight champion of the world, and I told him where you live, and whatnot. But yeah, that was, a uh, that was cool. Oh my god, are you serious? All that damage from that kick to the butt again. Is this- is this guy's fucking brainstorming his ass? Movies that I've been an extra in. Um, shit, I don't- I don't remember. Like, cause like, I've done like a lot of shit that films in New York and I don't really keep track of it. Because the thing is, like most- Here we go, this is the cool part that I was waiting for. This is like one of the coolest songs in the game. But yeah, a lot of it is like a lot. Most of the TV shows and movies that get made are just like throwaway garbage. But then I work on like Gotham, um, 
I did, like, something that may or may not be, like, really, uh, apparent in John Wick 3. Like, I don't want to say anything about it, because I don't know if it made the final cut or not. I want to tell people, yo, look for me in John Wick 3, and then I'm not there, because that happens. Uh, you know, we're gonna Law and Order. Um, the things you would actually be able to see me in, a few episodes of Gotham. Um, a few people saw me in that show, You... Um, Russian Doll, I'm the a bartender in one episode. Uh, in... In Jessica Jones, I didn't get killed by John Wick, that would've been awesome. I didn't, I didn't see him when I worked on it. Although I also worked on John Wick 2, and that scene at the end, where they're in the park and everyone like stops in place. I like I was one of those people. But you would never in a million years be able to make me out. Ah, oh, come on. Just just a, a little knife stab. Don't be a bitch, Cody. There's a Jessica Jones, the first season. There's a scene where she's like running through a college classroom. I'm chilling in there. It's one episode of power with the uh, I'm getting taken into jail. And they did like this uh three uh, 360 camera angle as one of the main dudes walks into the courtroom. Which actually, that scene, shooting that scene, is one of those things where the uh. Like, I'm playing a prisoner and a cop is escorting me, and he should be like. I'm resisting a little bit, not completely, but like enough that he should be like. You know, like. Putting, pushing into me a little bit to get me moving along. And the guy that was playing the cop, he was being such a bitch about it. And I was like, dude, like, you can, like, push me a little. It's not, like, it's just make it look good, you know? It's not a big deal. And he just wasn't doing it, so I had to pull him in a way that made it look like he was pushing me. It was the most awkward shit. Yeah, of course I get paid for being an extra. I wouldn't do that shit for free. Like, people... It's one of those things, like, the first time you do it, it's like, whoa, I'm in a movie, that's cool. And then after that, it's like, oh, like, I'm gonna sit on my ass all fucking day. It's gonna be like a 16 hour, however the fuck many hour a day. And I'm just gonna be, like, dicking around. And not on camera most of the time, for like... 99% of the time, you're just a blur in the background. Although, I know dudes who, like, they do extra work. I, like, there's this one fucking kid. I want to block him, because, like, he would, like, send me shitty memes nonstop. But... He, uh... He would do those kinds of roles, where it's like, you're not really doing anything important. You're just, you're just a regular-ass extra. And... He did a bunch of episodes of Law & Order, and he had this flyer he made for himself that he would post to Facebook. Whenever one of his episodes of Law & Order aired, he would he had his flyer that he would post that uh, he, he was going to be on Law & Order tonight. He had all, the, all his different shots of the episodes he was on, and in the middle of it is a picture of him. You're like, you know those director's chairs with the cloth back? And they have- it's not just for directors, but it's, uh, you know, they have them for the actors, like the principal actors and shit like that. So I think he's sitting in one of the actor's chairs, and he's got his- he's got his shoulder, like, slumped over it, and he's kind of, like, like, looking, like, back all, like, coy and shit. Like, he's the star of the fucking show. Meanwhile, meanwhile, he fucking- if- if the crew caught him doing that, they would they would be like, "Yo, what the fuck are you doing? Get out of that chair!" 
But it's funny because like there's people kind of like who aren't doing that. Like, who, like, don't do that for a job, I think they don't get that it's like that. So they're like, whoa, this guy is, like, he's leaving the dream. I'll see these people, too, like, they'll, like, post, like, they'll be, like, sitting at work. Doing, uh, you know, doing nothing on set. And, I, like, have all these hashtags themselves doing nothing. And like with hashtags, like hard work pays off. Rise and grind. Oh, oh, this guy just threw me out of the air. See, this is what I'm talking about with Abigail over here. A fucking road warrior animal. She just throws me. And that's not even a move that you, that would do like damage. It just tosses you up in the air. Ooh, big deal. Not like that it would do that kind of damage. Like in, in a real fight, it's just like, oh, I fell over. Ooh, I tripped. And then like maybe he comes in with the ground and pound or something. First, it's basically minimum wage, but then you get like uh, you join the union, and then it becomes significantly more, especially if you get overtime. Oh my God! Come on. It's the last stage, but I got, I got, I'm on my last life, on my last continue, so it's not looking too hopeful. And everything seems to be doing, like, supreme damage. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it would. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to be close to done. Yeah. Oh, run! I'm... It's not like they would turn down extras for not looking the role. It's that, like, they would never... They wouldn't pick you to begin with. You submit for the role and then they select who fits. Alright, so this is gonna be the end of the stream for me. Is there anybody? 